everybody. It's Diana with StampingWithDye.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Dyes Shorts. And this is actually going to be a longish one. I don't know how exact, how much exactly, but I got my um, pre-order in. So this is what I ordered from the upcoming mini catalog and the celebration brochure that I dropped on the floor. So this is what I pre-order from here. Now I didn't order everything, but I did order quite a bit. So I'm going to be um, doing an unboxing. Now I'll already have it unboxed. It's just called that um, because it just it takes some time. But I'll now be able to show you all of the things you're going to get for the spring social. So um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Somebody wants to say hi. Say hi, baby. <gasps> Winston says hi, everybody. Oh, oh, he's whispering. He's saying he's excited for celebration, too. Oh, kisses for mama. So you going to say hi. So anyway, so if you are new to my channel, Welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And this is Winston. And you can see he's looking around like, who are you talking to? There's nobody in the room. <laughs> you you are like a crazy woman. Oh, so, there, I'll put him on his chair. All right, so I am going to um, show you the boxes. So hang on a second. So these are the boxes that I have to unload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get them all open and, and sorted um, so I can um, show you everything. I'm so excited. So um, I'll just um, do some editing and then we will get back to um, showing you the, the awesome stuff that I got. And um, I can't wait to share that with you. Remember that you are going to be able to add that. Let's see. Remember, you're going to be able to add these things to your starter kit. So keep that in mind. I got my hair cut this morning. Oh, and I have a hair like in my eyeballs. Oh, um, so anyways, but yeah, so I will be able to, um, you'll be able to add that stuff to your starter kit. So if there's ever, if there's anything that you um, have a question about or you want an item number or whatever, let me know. If you are expecting catalogs from me, um, you should get them by the end of December. If you don't, then um, reach out to me and let me know that you didn't get it um, so that I can get another one in the mail to you. Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbing and then we will get started with the unboxing. So I'm so excited. All right, here we go. So I have everything unboxed and ready to um, share with you. And like I said before, I didn't get everything and... Um, so there is still some stuff um, left <laughs> in the catalog that I, I haven't ordered. Um, but at least you'll be able to see um, the things that caught my eye for the pre-order. I also will be able to, um, like I said, show you everything that you're going to be getting. Well, not everything because there will be some surprises. Um, but the stamp sets that you'll be getting for my virtual spring social. All right. So um, let's get going. Let me get my camera adjusted. So my spring social is, the virtual spring social is February the 24th, 2024. Now the registration has already started for this. Early registration ends in a couple weeks and then there'll be a, like a later registration. So if you want to save some money, you want to make sure you um, register. I think it's by December the 18th. I'll have to look, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. You can read more about it on my blog over there. Um, so this is um, what you're getting. So I have showed some of these already, um, but I didn't have the celebration one until now. So now I can show you. All right, so you're going to get the Be My Valentine, and it has the punch as well. So you'll get that bundle, and you'll get the Painted Lavender bundle. Now this is my, you know, this is mine, just so I can show you. Yours will be unopened, obviously. Um, so you'll get the Painted Lavender bundle as well. 
And then the celebration set. So you'll also get the heartfelt hellos. And this is such a cute set. It has some amazing, amazing fonts. But I love that it has a Mother's Day and a Dad. Um, so we're going to be playing with that. We're also going to be playing um, with some of the tool. And I'll show that the tool um, DSP. So now, um, so now let me get to the fun stuff. All right, hold on a second. Okay. First off, let me show you this amazing new tool that we have, and this is the Glass Mat Studio. Now, they have set aside um, so many that current demonstrators can order with their pre-order. Now, they might run out of the, um, the amount that they, you know, have held onto for the pre-order, um, so I don't want like if you did if you, like if you join my team now you know how I said you can add stuff to your starter kit you know from the stuff I'm showing you you can um, you know get get the glass mat now but I'm saying that because maybe if you decide to join my team a week from now or something um, maybe they will have run out of the glass mats that they have sat uh, sat aside. For demonstrators because what's going to happen is during celebration if you join my team during celebration you will get the glass mat studio for free in your starter kit or you can pick thirty dollars in your own um your own choice um in addition to your starter kit so that might be you know because you might join now so you can get your glass studio now and then um you know, you might already have it or something. Um, so I like that they give, you know, the, the um, you know, you can do one or the other. All right. So anyway, so this is the Glass Mat Studio. And these little doohickeys were on the edge. We're on the, the um, like it comes in the box. Well, I'm putting it on the wrong. There we go. So see, they were on here. And that just protected it while it was being sent because it has these little rubber feet on the back uh, so it has little rubber feet on the back so i love that it has the um ruler so um so it's really cool now i don't know if i'll be able to use it on my videos or not it looks like it has a big white sticker there but it's just the reflection of my camera or my light so we'll have to see um, if I can use this for my video. And then there's the little cleaning. Um, it's kind of like the, um, it's, got a, it's got a little, um, it, it's a little moist. That's why it's got that wet, you know. So you can wash with, um, you know, water or, or cleanser. But it's similar to the chamois feeling. So anyway, so it's got your little cleaning. And it also has this fun silicone tray. And this is just part of the studio. All right, peel this off. And then this sticks to the thing. So look at, like it's not going anywhere. I don't want to tilt that up anymore because I've already like turned it on its side. But look how fun this is. So if you're, um, you know, working with, with, um, colors or whatever you can you can mix um these hold the spots it's just super fun so anyway so this is the glass mat studio you can put it wherever you want and then there's a little cleanie bob um and then i just put this so i remembered what to tell you so anyways but super super cool i love when we get new tools i just love it all right so let me um put this where am I going to put it? Maybe I'll just leave it here. I'll just take this off of it. How's that? Yeah. And we'll see if this, um, the light bothers, bothers us. Okay. So let's get to, what do we have first? I just, I'll just grab what I have first on my desk. All right. So I have now some of this stuff. I can't remember if it was in the pre-order. So you might have seen me show some of it already. Cause I can't remember which was, um, the pre pre-order and which was new so just in case you are new then i'll just show show it all all right so this is the petal pink and pretty peacock foiled gems and look how amazing those are so they're 
Super cool. Alrighty. And now I know I have showed these before, and these will go with that B, um, the Be My Valentine suite. So those are super cool. And I love how shiny they are, but I love how flat they are for mailing. These are the iridescent foil gems. And these are so pretty too. Oop. And I'm missing one or he's moved somewhere. Because sometimes they slip and slide. So that's too funny. All right, so there's that one. And this is the Purple Fine Shimmer Gems. These are gorgeous too. So some of these are a little bulkier than some. All right, so here's these. I love these. And these are um, some really pretty purples. But this is like a red purple. I don't know if it's really showing super good on camera, but that is the like a reddish purple. And this is more like a highland and then a grape. All right. And then we have the opaque faceted gems. And these are really, really fun too. And they're kind of, um, they have a bit of a twinkle to them, but they're also, um, if you hold them a certain way, they almost look like a matte finish. Um, and they're really, really cute. They've got the real fun um, cut edges on them, which catch that light. And then we have the rainbow adhesive backed dots. So we will be having some fun with these for spring social as well. I usually like to try to, to give a whole assortment of um, embellishments, even if we don't use them all, just so you have them so you can see them. But look how pretty these are. I just love these. And these go really well with the, um, these are the this is the Baker's Twine three color pack. Look how pretty those are together. Do they not scream ice cream or something? All right, I know I have showed the pool party or the sweet sorbet um, bordered ribbon, and this also comes with the, the sweet, the be sweet, be mine sweet. And this is some really, really pretty ribbon, too. And again, I don't know if I sh was able to pre order this or not. It's like I just one at all. All right. I've been a demonstrator for what? Almost 25 years and I'm still the same way. But look, I don't think I have had this before. But look how pretty this is. This is peacock and gold, I believe, right? Yes, peacock and gold. And I'm not much of a gold person, but I love the look of this because it's just real subtle in there. And it's just, it catches the light so beautifully. Now let's see. I always like to see how things tie. Ooh, this tie is really nice. And it holds that tie. Like sometimes you'll tie things and you can't get it to keep the tie for, for anything. And this holds really nice. So this is some really pretty ribbon. And then this I believe is a celebration. And this is the pool party crinkle ribbon. Right? Yeah, crinkle ribbon. So look how fun this is. Oh, isn't that so cute? So anyway, so that's the crinkle ribbon. I don't, let's see if it ties. And I don't know if I would tie this necessarily. Maybe around a box or something. But, oh, that is cute. I guess it would be, it depend on the size of the card you were making. Because this is kind of some good size ribbon. But this would look really cute on like a box or something. Because of the size of it. But isn't that fun? I love all that crinkly look to it. All right, so that is celebration. Okay, so let me throw these away. All right, so now let's get to stamp sets. All right, so these are, and like I said, I didn't get everything. So you, you might be going, well, that's all 
Well, that isn't all, but that's this is what I got. All right, so this is the Everyday Details, and look how cute that is. You know me, I like to sit in color, but look how cute the little nest with the eggs. So fun, and it's a cling, and it has a coordinating die. You can see my little, it's full of, um, usually I don't have, I move my camera up so I could see a little better. It's full of um, BBs and beans, like a, it's like a um, weight so my camera doesn't flip over. All right, you use what you got, right? Okay, it's much cuter than a brick. All right, so this is the Everyday Details dies that goes with the stamp set. And look how fun this is. Isn't that cool? So again, always make sure you, you know, this has two um, cardboard, so always make sure you check that out, that you've got your, your full set. I love it. This is going to be some fun ones to play with. And I'll have to do all my organizing. You know me. But we're just... I just got this stuff. It, it came last night in the dark. All right, so filled with happiness is so cute. Isn't this adorable? Now this goes with... This matches the oval. I know I'm not, I think it's modern oval. I forgot to put the name on it. Um, now it's not, I don't believe it's a bundle with it because we've had this before, um, but it goes with it, right? But I just love, love how this looks. So that is a photopolymer. So there you can see, because sometimes the pic, see right here, it says images 95% on the case. So you can see the difference just to kind of, because you might not, not not be aware of that. So see how it's a little bit bigger. The stamp is a little bit bigger on on the actual stamp than what is shown on the cover. So you, got, you just have to look down here. Okay. All right. Then we have blueberry bunches. I don't know why I needed a blueberry set, but I did. Because look how cute it is. This is going to be adorable to color. And this is a, a cling. So fun. It's got some cute fonts. And you know me, I love fonts that have writing and printing in the same one. But this just is going to be so, so much fun to color. And then look at this one. So this is the cutest cows. And it has a builder punch. It is so fun. And look at these. So you can put the heads on the cows. And but look, oh my gosh, sunflowers. And you know me, I love sunflowers. I have sunflowers all over the place. But I love that. And it's just a cute, cute set with the little chickens and the roosters and the baby chick. There's a bell to put on the cow. Some little faces. It's so fun. So the faces are great. You can put on anything. But if you just use the punch, right, without the stamp set, then you have like the little... Um, the little faces to put on your punched image. But look how cute. Holy cow. What's moo with you? It is just so cute. Milk it for all it's worth. But anyway, so there's that with its cute little punch. And kidding around. Oh, my gosh. I was back and forth. I'm like, do I need this set? You know, I, I, I probably didn't necessarily need it. But I got it. Because look how cute they are. I mean, look at this little guy. He is just happy as happy in that box that they've turned into a boat. But it is so fun. And it has a die as well. So kidding around. It's your birthday. You sparkle every day. You are amazing. And I like this. It's got like like pillows. It's so cute. And look at her. She's like showing how how she did that little artwork and this little guy with his his um slippers on and then here's your dies that coordinate with it 
So look how fun this is. You've got so many extra pieces. You've got a banner. It cuts out, um, you know, it cuts out the little people. Oh, there's a circle. There's a circle there. Um, but it's got like a castle, building blocks, stars. Look at the cute little stool, the ball. This, I'm not for sure. That might be a carpet. I'm, I'm thinking it could be, since I haven't used it sometimes you don't know what they are till you know you actually use them but i'm thinking it might just be like a carpet um that they can stand on or play with their with their um blocks on and it's just one right yeah it's just one but that is so fun whether you have little kids in your family or not that is adorable all right so kidding around all right, so that was the stamp set and the coordinating um, die or punch. All right. I also got, and hopefully they'll do this. This is just, just kind of random boxes. They popped these in. Um, so I don't know if it was just demonstrators or if this will um, go, you know, as customers as well. But with the 35th anniversary, it was kind of cute. They just stuck in um some little a little pack of um basic white cardstock so that's pretty cool pretty pretty cool all right these are the sweet thoughts memories and more cards and envelopes and i don't get the memories and more cards very often you know the ones that um you know the little three by four and the four by six cards you know that you can scrapbook with or you can um make you know real cards with i got the christmas ones there's certain times of year i get them like the christmas ones i usually grab but even if i don't get the actual cards i usually get the the um like i usually don't get the card pack i know i'm probably con confusing you um but a lot of times i do get the card and envelope packs because look how adorable these are and you can use these with anything and then you have these so they're uh, super fun you can cut these and make you know attach them to just basic white so then you'll have lots to go around um but i usually grab them just because they're unique and sometimes it makes designing my classes and events a little easier if i kind of have um like a base of something that i don't have to cut and you know and score and all that kind of stuff it's just one step um, that I don't have to do that saves me a little bit of time all right and then this is the gold foiled flowers cards and envelopes now some of these things might be part of a suite they might be part of a collection and um, when the catalogs go live and I can do the catalog flip through I will be able to point those out better than I am right now because now I just have everything you know kind of like all over the place all right but look how beautiful these are look at that gorgeous flap on those envelopes and then look at the cards are these not so pretty and you've got these gold cards and I am going to um, try and color on these because I think you can I believe I they showed in the catalog that they colored but look how pretty this is so this is a full card so you just you know score it and you've got you know a card front and back or of course you can cut in half and then you have two so it is up to you all right so these are a couple of the, the different card and envelope packs all right, we also have a new kit, and then I'll get to the designer series paper. We also have a new kit. Oh my gosh, this kit is so pretty looking, and I have a few more coming because these are awesome gifts. And I usually like to have kits on hand if I meet somebody new. Um, you know, they're like, well, what, what do you, what is, what is Stampin' Off about? I can go, oh, look, you know, and I can give them, you know, a card to make or whatever out of a kit that's already ready to go. And this is perfect for that. All right. Usually like my hairdresser, I'll give her a full kit. Um, my neighbors get them too. But look how 
pretty these are. So here's our instructions. So I will have to come and do these. Maybe, um, you know, for my Teach Me Tuesdays next week. All right, so there's some um, really, really pretty ribbon, some um, tear tape, some really pretty peacock bling, and then some large dimensionals. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous envelopes. We've got some card stuff. It will make sense when I'm actually putting them together. All right, but look how beautiful this is, right? Like somebody watercolored these. And I like these kits because they are all inclusive. And see, I'm mixing them up, which is not good because they have it all coordinated, all organized, and I'm just mixing them all up. But see, it's already got like this stuff already on there in the different languages. So you just have to basically put them together. There's no um, stamping involved. Of course, you know, you could stamp, you know, use something you have at home if you want to put something else with them. But, um, but look how pretty that foil, that peacock foil writing is. Oh, I just love it. And this is also one of the reasons why I, I canceled my, I, I shouldn't say I canceled, but I have postponed my paper pumpkin for a while because I love the monthly kits that we're getting. Um, because I love that I can see what's in them. And I also love that um, once I show them to you, and if you fall in love with them, then you can order them while supplies last, where paper pumpkin's different. Right? That's how I get my paper pumpkin. If you're not a subscriber, you're not able to get it. All right, so let's do the 12 by 12. Now, I might have already showed you some of these but in case you're new I'm just gonna quickly go over them I also want to show you a little trick when you get a new punch um, let me get some cardstock really really quick hang on a minute let's get some cardstock here we go so when you get a new punch it's always a good idea to punch it to find out, make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, make sure it punches good. But you also want to clean out the oil that is on the punch from the factory. So we're just going to punch our little cow. And you can see, see that oil? See the oil around here? So that's okay. I mean, that there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that the factory, you know, when they make it, you know, it's it's oiled you know nice to go but you just keep doing that so i need a bigger piece of paper um but anyway so you just keep punching it out punching it out till there's no more oil on your cardstock so it's best if you do it right away just grab some scrap just grab some scrap and you know get that oil out of there instead of getting you know getting your thing all stamped and all pretty and then you go punch it out and then you have oil on it that's that's irritating so you just want to make sure that you do that ahead of time and and that's fine like there's nothing wrong with the punch you just have to clean that oil off of it all right so let's get all those pieces out of here and we'll get to our cardstock now, like I said, I might, ha I have a feeling I showed you some of these, so you can um, look away, take a potty break if you want, or you can just look at how beautiful they are again. All right, so this is the lavender, 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 perennial lavender, 12 by 12. So we'll definitely be playing with this for um, spring social because this coordinates with that stamp um, bundle you're getting so I'm just going to quickly show you these because I know I've showed these before so this is that pretty it's kind of organic looking and then the back side isn't that beautiful and it's it's doesn't always show good on my camera 
But I was watching Magnolia the other night, and she was pressing flowers, and that's what this reminds me of. Um, and I want to—I would love to do that. I'm going to have to try to try that. And she had like this wooden crank thing, and she was pressing the flowers. And they look so cool. But look how pretty this paper is. And it looks like homemade paper. When you used to make it, you would chop it up in like a blender and then you would dry it, you know. And it would have all the different colors of paper on that, um, on your homemade paper. So that's what this kind of reminds me of with all those little flicks of color here and there. But isn't that really really pretty DSP so again that's the, the um, perennial lavender all right I know I have shown the bees but I have to open it anyways oh and this is so fun I can't wait to play with this too so I've gotten some of the extra stuff because there's 3D things that I always do for the socials. So I've gotten some of that stuff already. And I can't get it all because I need to wait till my final number. But I always get just a small little bit of it so that I can play with it. Um, and this is going to be um, a part of that. So this is that cute little um, Be My Valentine DSP. So the front and the back. And the honey that I have played with. Really, really fun with the fluffiest friends. And then the back side, some little baby bees, which are adorable. And then the back side of that, some hearts. And then some bigger bees and some really fun colored flowers there. And daisies on the back side. And stripes and flowers on there. As you can see, I'm going pretty fast. And then this one with the honeycomb on the back or chicken wire. I'm like, it can be chicken wire too. All right, so that again was the B mine. All right, this is new because I couldn't get this one before. And this is the Just Kidding 12 by 12. And it goes with those cute little kids. But look how fun these are if I can get the plastic off. Because you have even more kids, not just the kids that were on the stamp. You have, look at, oh, I just want to cry because they're so, like, look at this one. She is livid. Look at that face. Let me scoot down a little bit. She is not in a good mood, that one. But she's got her little outfit on. She looks like she's dressed like as a dragon. So here's this one that I'm sure you can use the die to cut out this little guy in the wheelchair and he's got his um, a box on his head so he's like an astronaut this little one with her face she's an apple they're just so cute this one let's hope she's just looking at the ladybug and not setting it on fire I know that's bad Diana Look at this one. And she's got, it looks like a towel tied around her as a cape. And she's got like a, um, like a sifter thing on her head for a hat. So fun. I just love it. And then you've got these fun little stars on the back. And we have more kids. So these ones are cooking and baking. So my BFF, she's got the cutest little grandkids. And they're always helping her in the kitchen. So this would be a great um, pack for her. So they've got like their spatulas. And this one's covered in flour. There's like sugar. This guy's eating a cookie. She's knocked something down. This is just too fun. And look at this little one's got socks on just so cute and this one's bringing like a pastry or something fun and then the background of that one is some fun swirls and you can kind of see that there's like different colors in there very cool All right. and some more kids this time they are playing so this guy has got some flowers she's pulling her little brother there's this little guy. Oh, and look, they even gave him 
a little, um, whatchamacallit, oh my gosh, my mind, he's got a little, um, I can't think what I'm talking about, but anyways, I love that, that they have done all sorts of kids, and this guy, they are chasing the toad, look at, she's got, it looks, this looks like it might be a stuffed duck, and these look like real ducks. And he's fishing. So cute. So cute. And the back side. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, isn't this so fun? So you've got a card. Boom. Or a scrapbook page. All ready to go. All you have to do is put the kids right there. And then you got some. Oh, wait, wait, this way. Yeah. So this is rain. This one is like a log going. Look how cute this it is. So fun. All right. Then we've got kids here that are maybe at school. This one's reading and eating popcorn. Look at his cheeks. He is like munching, munching. Look at that little cutie patootie. Oh, look at this one's hat. I think this is adorable. Look at the little faces. I wasn't going to get it because I was like, oh, you know, Eric's all grown up. But I'm so glad I got it now because they are super cute. Look at this one with the little brats and her hair up in ponytails too. So I bet you have, you know, a kid that looks like one of these kids somewhere, right? That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, I'm with animals. Oh, look at this one. And she's like got her fun little dog. This little one's got a dog, a bunny, a kitty, a bird. Oh, these are fun. I don't see a Winston. I don't see a Winston there. But I did see the female cardinal the other day in the backyard. Look how cute this is. This goes really good with that um, magical one, right? This looks kind of um, like magic. All right. Oh, look at this one. They're painting. This These guys are telling stories. They've got, they've cut this all out. So, oh, here's that little one. So you can punch her out, I guess. So cute. I love it. I just love this little one. She makes me think of myself as when I was a little kid. Oh, I had to wear glasses pretty soon. I think it was like fifth grade or something. So cute. And in the back, it's got some um, triangles and some more of that mottledy kind of color and that was the last one and that is the kitten 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 what is it just kitten just cute is what it is so there's that that is so much fun all right this one i don't know if i if this was one i could get before or not poetic expressions I'm not for sure. It's, I like it, whatever it is. Once I get into it, I might remember. All right, so I love this. I just love this kind of broke look. It looks kind of blue genie. There's the back side of that one. So you know me, I will be using the blue side. And then we have some gold and some pink. Ooh, and there's some green. Almost looks like ribbon. And then there's some really, really pretty pink. So this is like that blue, the Baroque. Ooh, see, I like both sides of that. So this is that bubble bath. So this is a really delicate little flower there. And then that back side. So this is, there's certain papers I like, and then there's certain that I'm not fond of. But then sometimes that's all you want, right? Like if you're not like super fond of paper, all you need is just like a little piece of it. You don't have to do a whole card with it by no means. 
real oh that's cute and sometimes if you don't like it you can stamp on it too right like you can stamp on it and it gives it a whole different look all right this one i believe i showed already most adored i got up at um what time was it <laughs> Like all 30 in the morning and place my order so i wanted to get it you know right away so that i could show you and um because i definitely wanted to show you the the spring social thing um so i couldn't remember what i had and what i didn't all right so look how fun this is oh my gosh i just love that that will be really good with the ice cream set that we have and there's the back side of it and look at this one so this is kind of gold, almost like toffee, right? And in the back side. So I would, okay, so no, I didn't get this one before. This is a new one. So I love this side, probably more than that side. And then, oh, so look at this. This is really fun looking too. So you've got your checkeredy kind of look. And then, oh, so see, I'll be doing, <laughs> I'll be using the, the pink hearts. And you've got some gold flowers and some red hearts in the back. So you know me. I, I'm not a big gold person. No, this is cute, right? Because it's kind of like falling hearts. Oh, but look what's on the back. This is some fun, cute paper. And there's some more gold. So what's funny is they don't necessarily go, like, I shouldn't say they don't go together but it's not obvious that they go together because <clears throat> like this could be anything right and then look at those fun hearts so it's kind of nice because then it's like anybody's taste will will like them all right so this i didn't have that before so that is super cute love that this also i believe is a new one i don't think we could get that one before either because there was just a few dsps that we could get ahead of time all right so this is the sunny days and this reminds me of we had a punch i thought it was that had something like this design but i think this is some cute paper this is really really cute this might be fun with the kids as well right that kitten this might be fun with them and look at that so cute and then we've got some really pretty red flowers that look like they have been stamped on there with white craft this is what it looks like if you stamp on um like colored cardstock with the white craft pad that kind of looks just like it and then you've got that so i probably would use this side more than that side i think and look how pretty this one is with that little hint of black in there it's just beautiful and in the on the when i'm looking at it on a camera it looks r r like a really dark green but in real life it's like a shaded spruce um it's just gorgeous and you've got some pretty green rainbows on the other side some fun strawberries and some butterflies i would be using the strawberry side oh i love this one they look like poppies kind of um artistic poppies and some suns on the other side some cute cherries and then some more it looks like rain on this on this side so some of these papers are celebration and some um is this a celebration i'm not for sure um some you can earn during celebration and some you can you can order you know and pay for um, i believe the tool one is a celebration and it's super fun so we will be playing with this one with the fun um the hello set that you're getting for the virtual spring social because it's got that dad saying in there so it's going to make the cutest cards um with that set because there's no um writing on this right so we're going to do some fun cards so anyway so this is the tool 
DSP. And I know I've showed this before. As soon as I've seen this. <laughs> so anyway, so I'll just go quick with this one. So there's the back side. We've got some hammer and nails just to add like a fun uh, texture. Some screws and bolts or whatever those are. This looks like the um, the bench, or not the bench, but the toolbox stuff. There's some more screws and bolts. Let's see. We've got a fun ruler and some pegboard. Some more tools because there's um, two different styles styles of tools look how cute so anyway so that is the tool and then last DSP is this one I know we're gonna have fun with this one for spring social too because these birds are beautiful and this is the flight and airy and I can't remember if this was celebration too or not but like I said you should if you expect a um, mini catalog and brochure from me you should get it by the end of December if not you need to let me know so I can have it sent out again um, but look how fun this is pretty 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 so I'll just flip it over quick I love this but look how beautiful this is drawn I just love that look how soft this is it just reminds me of of wallpaper you would put in your guest room or anywhere really or like a library look at that oh I love that I've seen some pretty shows where they have like um, like a shelf thing and they put the wallpaper behind like um, the shelf and it looks so cute so that that would be like perfect for that look how fun that is and that was the last one, I think. Yeah. So that is all of the DSP. All right. I'm looking around. All right. So let me scoot down. Let me say, see you later, alligator. Whenever I move it up, I have to tighten it. And then it, it doesn't spin quite so graciously as normal. But um, so anyway, so hopefully you um, maybe saw some stuff that you you were totally interested in. Um, if you want item codes for anything, make sure you let me know. If you um, want to join my team now, you can order the stuff I showed you, put that in your starter kit. If you want to wait till celebration is starting um, and join my team and get the glass mat for free, um, you know, there's a couple ways of doing that. I would love um you know to talk to you about that either anytime all right so i'm gonna stop blabbing and um i'm gonna say see you later i will see you um monday for my mimeograph monday with a twist that will be at three o'clock arizona time same time same channel thanks so much for spending some time with me this week i really appreciate it <laughs> bye for now